Is Microsoft continuing to clean house when it comes to Halo Infinite right now? Because this recent report from Windows Central, specifically Jez Corden who posted this, says that another member of Halo Infinite's leadership team is leaving Microsoft and Xbox. That being David Berger, who's the development technical lead when it comes to 343 Industries, who's been on there for so, such a long time. It, this guy was the lead of the Slipspace engine, the, en the powerhouse that's supposed to be this magical thing to keep Halo Infinite running. To hear this news right after hearing Bonnie Ross is leaving, now I know she's cited health issues, but it sounded like she was kind of on the way out as she did cite that she was planning to stay with the team till the November update and then after that probably leave. So it sounds like she was kind of like on the way out of the whole thing and it seems like other people are going to be leaving as well. Which I talked about this in a previous video saying that Slipspace Engine was advertised to be like this new thing. It's going to be such a great thing for Halo, new content, new updates coming out super fast and on time. But we are 10 months into this game and well, the updates and content have been slower than ever when it comes to the Halo franchise. The current information that's been going around the gaming community is that there's a lot of technical debt when it comes to the engine of Slipspace, basically saying that they made it in a way to where it just got to work, but if you needed to go back and fix something or update something, something else is holding it back from doing it. So there's constantly something holding back this game from really producing some awesome stuff for us to play. And based on the limited launch that we had for Halo Infinite and the very limited support that we've had for this game, it would kind of make sense that something is going on with this game to make it very difficult to produce content, to produce updates, and that being most likely the engine. This kind of adds to more concern of just seeing so many people leave. In this video right here, the multiplayer overview before the launch of the game, Pretty much everybody you see in this video besides like Tom French have left 343 since the launch of the game, which is really weird that they seem so committed and interested with Halo and then as soon as the game launches, they all leave. Now, could this be due to some technical issues, to some issues with management or something? That's all speculation at this point, but I just wanted to point out that like, it's really weird to see so many people leave. I can imagine some people leaving as like the project's over, maybe going to something new and better. A lot of these people have left over to go to different game companies and stuff like that. Actually, many of them are actually working on the new Star Wars Fallen Jedi Order game. So definitely looking forward to that. Though seeing people like Joseph Stadium come back to Halo is super nice. Great to see former Bungie developer, original Halo developer, Paul Bertone returned to his former position with Halo of the Studio Technical Design Director. But it still just kind of feels concerning as it just checks off another lead or important person within the development team of 343 leaving Halo Infinite once again. It almost feels like in a way that Microsoft is kind of cleaning house and replacing everything since we had Bonnie Ross replaced with three different people now, right? And now we had the technical lead lead. We've had like Jerry Hook left. A lot of the multiplayer team has left the game completely. Microsoft is currently on a bit of a hiring freeze due to the economic situation within the US. Because if you look at 343 Industries page, uh, currently no positions available. Well, I think one is gonna just became available today. Though it's not all doom and gloom because my friend Wrangler here just tweeted this out to me showcasing all the list of people who are still working on the engineering side of things when it comes to slip space so it's not like you lose the lead and everything falls apart it might kind of stagger the development of things a little bit but i don't expect it to really kind of halt anything it probably slow things down a bit as we get a new director coming in but we'll see what happens obviously this is reported news but the people who are reporting it have confirmed it from multiple sources that this is happening but of course once it actually does happen i'll let you guys know here on the channel it also seems like 343 is playing around with the idea of bringing all the promotional material that's in-game content to the store in some way let me show you what i'm talking about 343 community director sketch right here tweeted this out saying halo infinite has had quite a few marketing partnerships around the world that include unique cosmetics there are no plans either way at the moment but curious what your thoughts are on potentially making some of this content available via in-game shop or other vectors. Now scrolling through the comments here, I mouth my own, but a lot of people say they agree with this stuff as well. And a lot of people actually didn't agree with this, but I wanted to kind of give you my thoughts and reasons why I don't agree with allowing this to happen. 
Personally, I would not like to see the marketing material come into the shop in some way because the whole point of getting these in-game cosmetics is that it's a bit of unique customization you can't really find anywhere else. There's already so much customization for you to pick up within this game that it seems like it might be a way for 3, for 3 to kind of stretch out the content even more that they're already stretching it to a breaking point. And I talked about this in a previous video that there is this customization issue that's gonna be sticking with Halo well pretty much for the entirety of Halo Infinite as a live service game. And that is the newest and coolest thing. It's gonna be something that people are going to want to want to use and wear. I'll link that video at the end of this one, guys, if you guys wanna check it out. But the whole point of customization is to make yourself feel unique and kind of express yourself through the game in some kind of way. And right now, the way the customization works in Halo Infinite, it's more like people kind of customize themselves in trends rather than in unique styles. I think this meme right here kind of summarizes it up perfectly where like you have the normal player who just kind of like is just generally customizing themselves but then once the gold coating came out a lot of people bought into that and ended up using it myself included i bought into the gold because i just thought it looked really cool and you know it's more unique type of customization than we're used to when it comes to a halo game so i thought it was fun so i went ahead and purchased it probably regretting it now that i don't really even use it that much anymore but you kind of get the point though i do understand there are regions that were not available to participate when it comes to these bits of customization right uh, and so i think a only way you could possibly like to see this happen would be some kind of challenge based unlock system do something in the game that's like really substantial to make it seem like it's something that you earned that's something that's severely lacking with halo infinite right now if you just throw this stuff into the shop people either think it's kind of boring or they may already have something that looks very similar as there have been similar coatings that look very similar to the promotional material and people like myself who bought into some of this customization will feel a little less unique and it would kind of lose the fun of that coating or that bit of customization plus i feel like putting the stuff into the shop would be detrimental to future promotions where people would think well like well they'll just throw it into the shop eventually and i'll pick it up then without having to buy some crazy sugary candy let me know what you think about promotional material coming into halo infinite would you like to see it come to the shop would you like to see it be challenge based unlocks let me know in the comments and like i said halo infinite has a permanent customization issue if you guys want to know more about it check out this video right here thank you very much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out